a nutshell, video number seven, URLs. In the previous video, we talked about using keywords for SEO. In this video, I'm showing the results, the Google results for Brioche. And the number one entry out of more than 13 million was the Wikipedia page I showed you in the prior video. The URL means Uniform Resource Locator and basically it is the uh, web address for a particular page. And you can see the top three listings have certain characteristics. They each have the name Brioche or the word Brioche in their name uh, and there's a couple other characteristics that we'll outline and then come back to. These are the best practices for on-page optimization using URLs. And the page URL, which is really the page name, should predict the content of the page. The primary keyword that you're focusing on on the page should be in the URL. Uh, shorter is better. You want to avoid dynamic URLs. And this would be for people who are using, say, WordPress as a platform where you can set the permalinks to either stay dynamic, in which case it uses what's called a session ID, which has no uh, meaning to a reader, or you can change it around so that it uh, uses normal uh, English words. And you want to use hyphens to separate words instead of underscores or any other character. And we'll flip back to the Google listing, and we can see that all those characteristics are present in the top three listings out of 13 million. I think the clear evidence is that URLs or your page names do play a significant role in SEO and it's it's something that you want to integrate into your page organization and design. This tip is from seomoz.org. For more sales and marketing tips like this, go to recessionbusiness.com forward slash video tips.